Hey guys, I'm uh, on the beach again, coming to you from the Bahamas, walking with my son again, late at night, just me and my son and you guys, and I want to talk to you today, or tonight, about gratitude. And so I hope you love the show. Cowboy. Welcome to a daily dose of greatness class. With your host, Trevor Crane, my daddy. He is going to help you take your life and business to the next level. Here I come to save the day. Trevor Crane here, 11-time number one best-selling author and the founder of Epic Author Publishing, coming to you live every day so you can plug in every day to build your ideal business so you can live your ideal life. If my daddy can do it, then anybody can do it because... He's a weirdo. You're supposed to make me sound cool. <laughs> okay, here's my question of the day for you. What are you grateful for? Now, when things are going great, and like right now, I tell you I got my feet in the sand, I'm sharing my son on my chest, I'm in love with my wife, like it's pretty easy to see a lot of things that I'm grateful for, but there have been plenty of times in my life when things weren't awesome. And I would say that the habit and the question that I developed years ago and the discipline of asking it on a regular basis, of asking the question every day, what am I grateful for, shifted things for me. Because when I was having my ass handed to me and I didn't have my daughter and she was taken away from me when... Uh, her mother and I split up, and she was two years old, and she left me and left the state and took my daughter, and I wasn't sure when and if I was going to get custody or be able to raise her, and I foreclosed in my house and my other house, and I had my cars taken away, and I found myself homeless. Like, it was a tough nut sometimes to go ahead and think about what I'm grateful for. But I, I got into a pattern of doing that. You guys are probably familiar with me asking the question. And I shared with you my incantation or a cute little poem that I had written called What's the Gift? That I have this discipline of like focused on ask, asking this question every day. Like, what's the gift? What's the gift? What's the gift? When it comes down to it, what I'm at, what I'm also saying in a core question I ask every day as well is, what am I grateful for? And this is part of a daily discipline that I do virtually every single morning, and oftentimes I'm asking it all throughout the day, especially when the bad shit happens. Because when the good stuff happens, it's just so easy. There's so much abundance, and it's all around me. But I still am asking the question. Now, here's how I do it. I'll give you a little insight, and maybe this will help you have a little bit more gratitude. An attitude of gratitude, I'm sure you've heard before. But if you're down in the shitter, or when things get down in the shitter, because it'll happen, maybe this will serve you. And I, I kind of I start inside and I go outside. So I'll start inside myself. Like, what am I grateful for? Now, sometimes when I ask a question, I can't come up with an answer. I'm like, nothing. I'm pissed. I'm upset. I'm crying. I feel miserable. I feel like a loser. You know? And so but that's a bullshit answer. That's just my, my fear of what I'm focused on. But when I come down to it, I'll just be like, well, hold on. Physically, you know, am I still breathing? You know, I'm grateful for breath. <laughs> I'm grateful that I can still breathe. I'll wiggle my toes and I'll be like, I'm grateful that I can wiggle my toes. I'm grateful that I can feel air on my face. I'm grateful for a glass of water and I'll drink a glass of water. Like I start inside. I'm grateful that I have fingers. I'm grateful that I have toes. I'm grateful that I walk. Now, you might think it sounds a little silly, but I, I like it. It feels good. Like I'm grateful that I have a heart beating in my chest. Think about how many people who don't, that are in the graveyard, they've given up that, that, that awesome piece. And I am grateful for it. See, when it comes down to it, I think what helps us live a great quality of life is just a, a, a focus of being aware of our balance sheet. Like there's an assets and liabilities, and what happens is, is when we're pissed and upset and things are going shitty, we are more focused on the liability side. Oh, shit. But we're not as aware. See, the, the thing is, is that our assets typically, I can't think of an experience of a time when our assets are less than our liabilities. It's not that we, maybe not the bank account, <laughs> but, the, but just in general, if you add up all of the assets that you have, 
the millions of miracles that come your way, part of one of the little phrases I have in my the gift incantation, which by the way, I'm going to plant a little seed here. I'm in the process of recording uh, my book, What's the Gift, and having it come out, an audio book that's going to come out in my new app. And I'm excited about it. I'm going to release it here on the podcast. We'll have a little mini series for that so you guys will be able to listen to it. But I highly suggest you join my 30-day challenge that comes with that book. But I'm really excited about it because it can help you create a discipline of just being focused on the gift and gratitude every day. But I go back to my little formula. I cycle in and I go out. And I'm sharing this with you. You can probably hear the waves um, kind of crash in my feet. See, as we talk about this, it's so easy for me to feel gratitude right now about everything around me. But again, I'm giving this to you as a strategy of I, I use it. I use it now while I'm walking with you on the beach, and I use it when I'm in the shit. Things are really bad. I start inside, and then I, and then I open my eyes. So after I, I just get grateful for my heartbeat and my breath whatever, something really simple, and I and I really put my hand over my heart and try to really be grateful, not like a not like a spoiled kid who isn't proud of or happy of the gift that he receives, but honestly, to be like that really grateful little kid that's excited to have been given this amazing gift, because I know that with that will come more, because people like to give, when you're a good receiver, <laughs> givers like to give to people who um, are good receivers. So then I'll look out and open my eyes and I'll look around me. Right now I look around and I can hardly see a star in the sky just because there's too many lights. There's little lights on around me, but I'm grateful for what I see. I'm grateful for the buildings. I'm grateful for the trees. I'm grateful for the sky. I'm grateful for the beach. You know, and I true I try not to bullshit myself. Like what is it truly in this moment that I'm grateful for? And like right now. The fact that I can be with you and have my son on my chest in his mini outfit <laughs> as I'm carrying him around and the water that hits my toes and my ankles every time the little wave comes up and then the sand underneath my toes, I'm grateful for that shit. Now, what are you grateful for? And this is a, a diet, a discipline that I suggest you take on for 30 days. My 30-day goal-setting challenge is going to be badass. You better get my app so you can get that when it comes out. And it'll be my free gift to you because you can really get any goal you want if you stay focused on it for 30 days and have a little process that I want to help you with. And you can uh, develop this mindset strategy that you can go ahead and turn situations around to your benefit. I think it starts with an attitude of gratitude. And then I will cycle about into the people that I love. And who I know love me. Because there's plenty of people out there. There's at least got to be a dog. Or a cat. Or a next door neighbor. Or an old high school friend. Or a teacher. Or somebody that you haven't burned the bridge with. Who do you love? And who loves you? I'll cycle to that next. And you know what? I, when I stay focused on my assets versus my liabilities. Then... The, the other bullshit that's going on in my life, the, the real things that are problems in my life just don't seem as big a deal uh, when I'm focused on the things that are most important to me, what I care about and what I'm grateful for, even and especially when all the bad shit happens. The challenge for you today is to try to be focused on your balance sheet, but only look at the positive side. This one just... Uh, Add up on a regular basis, daily, if you're willing to take on the challenge for 30 days or more, of just an attitude of gratitude and asking the question, what are you grateful for? Or for you, when you say it, you're going to say, what am I grateful for? You do that for 30 days, a daily question you already know, and just do something a day to make today magnificent. Make it amazing. And did you take me up yesterday on my challenge to go out walking after midnight? I hope you did. If you didn't do it yet, make sure you make that happen. And listen to that Patsy Klein song. It's still going through my head because I'm on the same beach <laughs> recording next day's episode. And that's all I got for you. Make today magnificent. Oh, 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 oh. And make sure you go review us on iTunes if you haven't done that yet. And let somebody else know 
uh, somebody else that you know, love, and care about, uh, know about our podcast and give them a challenge listening to it every day. And uh, I can't wait to see you tomorrow on another Daily Dose of Greatness Quest. I'm going to share with you one of our adventures. We're going to go swimming with pigs or scuba diving or snorkeling or something else amazing. And I can't wait to uh, tell you all about it. And I'll talk to you soon. To get even more awesomeness, which means all my best stuff, download my app by texting Trevor to 36260. It will show up right on your cell phone. Just text message the word Trevor to 36260. Talk to you soon.